Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example calculate concentration factor of solids thickened. The problem reads, a gravity thickener incoming waste activated sludge suspended solids concentration is 0.99%. The underflow sludge is withdrawn at 3.3%. Calculate the concentration factor of thickened solids withdrawn. Now this problem is requires the use of one math operator. Uh, that's uh, division. And the key here is to divide two numbers expressed in the same unit. The unit is irrelevant, doesn't matter if it's a concentration as a PPM or a concentration as a percentage. Uh, if we were talking about um, flow rate, it wouldn't matter if it was uh, flow rate in um, minutes, hours, days, or increments of millions. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, the key is to have each element in the, in the problem with the same factor, same unit of expression. So in this particular case we've only got two numbers presented to us. They're both concentration factors and they're both presented as percentages. And therefore we can take those numeric values and simply divide them uh, by each other and that's going to give us a concentration factor. So that's the first thing we want to make sure is we understand that, that we're putting in um, two elements and their same unit of expression regardless what the expression is. And then the second thing is that in order to get the in this case the concentration factor we'll have to put the largest number in first. So we would divide the number going out by the number coming in. And that would give us the uh, numeric factor. Um, we don't need to use the um, description for the type of expression. We simply drop that and just simply put in the numbers. So the formula would be concentration factor equals the numeric value going out divided by the numeric, numeric value coming in. In this particular case the number going out is withdrawn and the number coming in is the incoming waste in activated sludge suspended solids. And they're both percentages so we just simply put the numeric value without the percentage sign. So we divide one by the other and then we get an answer. So let's look and see how this works if we use an Excel spreadsheet. So as always open up a blank worksheet and I actually put my cursor in uh, A1 for my um, answer. But over in C1, I, put, I, I, I wrote the description of the answer, concentration factor. So I went to A1, and I formatted that um, as a whole number with two decimals. And then I, then I also centered it and set it as bold. And then I went up to the formula bar, and I followed the instructions I have above up here. I put in the equal sign and I put the numeric value going out inside parentheses, open and close parentheses, division key. 
and I put the numeric value coming in inside open and close parentheses and then I hit enter. Now there's one thing that we want to point out here and that is the Microsoft Excel takes my .99 and shows it as 0 0.99. I didn't type in 0 0.99, I typed in 0 .99. And the reason why they do that is that they want to make sure that uh, that it's recognizing no whole numbers. It just simply decimal equivalent only. And so you don't have to worry about that. It's not going to change anything. It's just the way Excel uh, uh, deals with it. So that's my answer. A, a concentration factor of 3.33. So I hope you find this video um, to be useful. Um, let's see. We only used six minutes. It's one of my shorter videos. I uh, hope you subscribe. Hope you participate by asking additional questions, and comments, and I thank you for listening and uh, tune in because uh, we'll have another one very soon.